Oh, no, that's not. I might need my mic. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Who's here? Um, <coughs> I am having a little bit of a throat thing this week. Picked up a cold on the weekend, so my voice is not 100%. But we're here, and I'm going to stream anyway, because it's fun. <laughs> um... And this week I'm actually going to do some coding, hopefully. More more development type stuff. Um, <clears throat> last couple of months I've been focusing on installing VPSs. This, is, this week I want to get back into writing some code. Uh, and once again, I've forgotten to put up the sign above my door. So I'm going to go do that quickly. <laughs> I swear, I sit down in front of my desk, I get the computer ready, I get all the software ready, I get the music going, I forget to put the sign on the door. <laughs> Every time. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> so this week, I am going to be attempting to work on an open source plugin. Uh, the plugin is the WordPress Playground block. Now, if you don't know what the WordPress Playground block is, you might have already heard of WordPress Playground. Um, it's essentially a way to run WordPress from within the browser. So you, it's basically a, a WebAssembly um, implementation. So it runs completely in the browser, doesn't need a local environment to run a WordPress install. <clears throat> it's basically like a bundled version of WordPress sites or a WordPress server that just runs in your browser. It's quite quite an exciting little piece of tech. Um, and it's a great way of testing out WordPress features, testing out plugins, testing out pull requests, releases, that kind of thing. Um, but what I, what I, my focus, or at least my interest in it, is the Playground block. So what the Playground block does is it gives you the option to run an instance of the playground inside of a WordPress site. So it's like WordPress within WordPress, which is kind of cool. Um, and I want to use it for my learning content on Learn WordPress. So the goal is to use the playground block for uh, practical activities on my learning pathway lessons. Um, and so at the moment, <clears throat> I'll just show you what the block does. Um, so let me create a post. I'm just going to use hello world. Um, and let's, I've forgotten which key. There it is. WordPress playground. And so basically with the playground block, you can enable a code editor and the code editor will Whatever code you add to the code editor will automatically be installed as a plugin. So you can, for example, do something like this, um, add filter the content. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just gonna code up an example here quickly. Uh, 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 uh. And then you can return the content with something after it. So let's say con uh, let's say content plus the paragraph. Hello. <laughs> Keep it super super simple and easy. Um <clears throat> Okay. So once that's done save this post and let's preview it on the front end and so there's the editor that pops up and so once the user activates the live preview it shows it loads the wordpress site it loads the plugin it activates the plugin um, and if they go to a page for example you'll see there is the hello being output after the content so any plugin functionality you want can be added there um, now 
What's cool about this is you can <clears throat> put this inside of a group block and you can specify alignments. So let's make it full width, for example. Um, and I think this only works if you've set your page to be full width or something. So it's not going to work here. Um, I think I'm going to need to, let me make that change quickly. I'm going to need to edit my theme. So let's go to the theme editor. Let's go to the single post template. There we go. And then I think what I need to do is I need to specify that this doesn't use the content width. Yeah, that should do it. So now if I preview that, there we go. So now, oh, why is it not white? It's annoying. Let's go forward. Let's refresh that. There we go. Um, so you can go full width and you can basically set up, you know, some cool practical activities for folks. Um, so now, you know, I can get someone to, what's so cool is you can specify that that page loads um, in the blueprint. So I can specify a landing page. So I can say uh, whatever the URL of this page is. No, it's not this one. It'll be whatever the sample page is, which is page ID equals two. Um, page ID equals two. So I can do that. And then if this, when this loads, it automatically load that page, for example. Um, so yeah, it takes it straight to the page, if folks can see. So there's, there's some cool stuff, so you can, cool things you can do. Um, Thank you, uh, uh, Laura, for sharing with uh, with Deb what we're doing today. I'm basically talking through what my plan is for today. Um, <clears throat> so, so this is how it currently works. There's a whole bunch of other features and settings and, and things you can do. You can create a new page. Um, you can enable debugging, various other things you can do. Um, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't allow me to set up this code as a theme. Um, so if I wanted to create like a custom theme and enable somebody to edit the theme and see the changes and activate it in the playground block, it doesn't work. It just works with the plugin at the moment. So the goal today is to see if I can submit a pull request to make that work. Um, I was given a little bit of direction by one of the developers on the plugin. Um, if I go to playground block and I go to the components, there is this um, write plugin files component, which essentially writes <coughs> whatever's sitting in the code editor of the block to a specific file path, uh, calls it demo plugin, and essentially um, loops through all the files set up in the editor and writes them to that path. Um, so I can probably use this functionality and maybe just change the path. Um, might need to change some of the variables, perhaps might need to pass in whether it's a plugin or a theme. Um, theoretically, that should should work. So I'm gonna have to see where this component's used, how it's used, um, and various other things. So that's the goal. Um, I have no idea where to get started. I have never worked on this plugin before. It is a block plugin. Um, so I should be able to set up a local copy of this. Um, music's very soft again. I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit. Um, speaking of the music, <laughs> Uh, I see Echo Jelly is still in the chat, so if you didn't know, um, Echo Jelly is the reason I have all this cool background music. And uh, if you want your own live stream music, I do recommend checking out Echo Jelly. Um, it's a friend of mine who also works in the WordPress space, so if you're looking for custom music and sound effects, go check them out. Um, and let me know, let me know how it goes. 
But uh, yeah, Ikajili really created this amazing 15 track playlist for me that I'm kind of randomizing today. And it's just cool to be able to have your own your own music for your, for your live streams. <laughs> cool. Um, right. So the first step is going to be to get this code set up locally. I have already checked out the repository. Uh, so it's called Playground Tools. So there it all is over there. So let's have a look at this in the code editor. Um, let's see here, development, projects, playground tools. Um, and I don't care about any of this stuff. HP Storm always moans at me. Um, according to the readme inside of the block. So let's go there, directive code block. Uh, according to the readme, is this the right? No, it's the, this is a different block. It's like a previous iteration, it's this one here. According to what I was reading earlier, I should be able to NVM use, NVM install, and then run this and have a local Webpack development server for the block running. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, I'm guessing it's going to set up the plugin in an instance of a playground, ironically, so that I can test it out. So I guess, I guess it'll just work. I'm going to try it out now and see what happens. Um, Because what I would really like to be able to do is actually test the functionality that I'm going to try and set up. So let's run through that process. So I already have Playground Tools checked out. I already have, I'm already inside the directory. So let's use version 18 is not installed. So I'm going to need to install version 18. Okay. I just going to install 18. <coughs> <clears throat> this is one of the cool things about using NVM um, is you can just quickly install whatever version you need so if you're working with Node.js I recommend using NVM um, and then if we go NVM use okay I just installed it if it say install Oh, it'll probably install that specific version. Oh, that's why. Because I've okay. If I install 18, it installs 18.20. All right, fine. So if I just go NVM install, it'll install that version. All right, fine. <coughs> that's one of the cool things about an NVM RC file. Uh, if you've never seen these, it looks like this. So it tells you like exactly which version you need to use, uh, which is very cool. Okay. And then npm install, and this is going to install a whole bunch of packages. So this will probably take a while. Maybe I should have done this before the live stream. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe it won't take so long. So while this is installing, um, speaking about the background music, when I got when I got the music from from Echo Jelly, I played it for my family. And my kid heard the song, my 12 year old, and he was like, that's a cool short track, dad. <laughs> so it's 12 year old approved. <laughs> Tony, I. I don't know if it's me, but I find that node dependencies take a heck of a lot longer to install than composer dependencies. Um, I don't know, maybe it's me. They just seem to take much longer. Anyway, it's done now. So now we should be able to run this. NX dev WordPress playground block. NX not found. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to install NX then. 
Uh, still in expiring Imperium Soldier EMX, okay. What NX is? Now I'm curious. With like a shortened version of NPX or something. Okay, I have no idea. I'm not going to waste my time reading up about it now. Let's just install it. Okay, should be good. Let's run that again. Yay! Okay. Seems to be doing things and working. Looks like it's using WP now, which is a um, <clears throat> a thing that it's also using the playground block, which is actually part of these packages. And I think it runs localhost on one of these ports. Let me just check here. Um, localhost 881, let's see if that works. No. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Uh, you can now visit the site in your browser to test the plugin. Which site? <laughs> uh, I love it when things are not super documented. Um, This is see WP now is not found, which makes me wonder if I need to have WP now installed for this to work. <coughs> so I think I need to install WP now. Let's just see did it's the same thing about needing it installed. Just don't like it. Okay, let's install WP now globally then. Looks like that worked. So let's see if this will work now. That seems better. Yeah, that seems better. Hey! <laughs> okay, so it needs WP now. <laughs> I might uh, I might just submit a PR. <laughs> For the readme um to include that all right so now this is so now this is running the playground instance in my browser and i'm going to test the plugin 
using this playground instance. So that's an interesting bit of inception. <laughs> uh, so there's the block and let's add it to a post somewhere. Um, there it is. Let's enable the code editor. Let's enable that to the live preview here. Why not? And then let's run this. So this should work. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So that's cool. So that means I've got a local development environment for this to test on. So that's cool. So now we dive into the code. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to want to add some kind of um, attributes to the plugin somewhere. So because this is a block, I can add an attribute. So let's call it code editor. Oh, there's a code editor mode. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's used anyway. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing this is maybe some sort of future future planning. What am I doing here? As it looks like. It looks like it is being used. <coughs> In the edit. Select an option as a script mode. So this is in the code editor panel. So side by side, read only, transpile, multiple files. Error log. Oh, has this code been commented? Uh, it looks like this code has been commented out. Okay. Or hidden. <coughs> this is actually compiler window. So it's under. Let's see here. It's under the error lock setting. Oh, there it is. Like if there's a decide how your code is we use inside the playground installation. Oh, okay, so there's some code there. Cool. Plugin, all the files will be placed in a separate plugin, which will be automatically enabled in the playground. Edit a script, the code will be executed directly in the Gutenberg editor. Uh, okay. The edit, edit a script mode breaks the preview. The edit a script mode isn't a critical feature, so the hidden div below is a UX workaround. We're simply hiding the select control to prevent the user from selecting the edit a script mode. Okay. So I could reuse this. You see the issue here. This is a fun little discovery. Going from plugin to editor script mode, adding and running code in plugin mode worked, but editor script broke the preview without providing me for error. 
Instrument isn't a critical feature, so I'm going to hide the silicon control and make the block suitable for learn. Oh, <laughs> they fixed it first. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <coughs> I don't even know what it is. It is a script mode. What would it do? WP add inline script. That's for adding a JavaScript. Interesting. Okay. So <coughs> I could reuse this. Hmm. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out into script mode. Um Okay. I'll clean up this later. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, folks. As I said, the voice is a bit not great. This is where it gets interesting because um, this is using TypeScript, which I have zero experience with. And it's telling me that the string type of that variable um, is not assignable to the type which means something but I don't know what it means <laughs> <coughs> So this is a select control. for this.
So it's saying the type of string is not assigned equal to type of T. That's the value. I don't understand. I'm going to take this out. If this is going to compile, let's have a look. Um, okay, first things first, let me make a <coughs> let me make a branch and um, playground tools. And I think I've got a issue that I created for this one. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to create the branch based on the issue number. <coughs> uh, code better with support. Okay, so at least whatever I try and do, be in a branch. And for now, I'm going to take. I'm actually just going to cheat. I already do it up here. I can't remember. Let me just go back a few steps. <coughs> I think I can just do that on the list item. Yeah, that should work. And let's just make one for <coughs> theme. Clean up the language later. That's hidden, and then we need some options. So let's take out. I remember how to do comments in. I think this will work. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this. I suppose I've got it in a branch, it doesn't matter. Let's take this. I'm going to see if this is going to transpire. Seems okay. Seems to be fine, so I don't know why my, my ID is giving me that error, but it seems to be okay. <coughs> so let's see what that does. Okay, so we'll code it. It's, uh, hmm. I wonder if I need to. Might hardly know this. Okay, I'm still not seeing my. Oh, <laughs> it's because you didn't unhide it over here, dummy. <coughs> okay. Guessing that's running. So let's refresh and see what happens. Let me just save this page with the block in it so that I can. But this is fine, I can add it for now. Yay! Okay, so we've got plugin, we've got theme. 
Now what I want to see is, is this throwing up any errors? Doesn't seem to be. And Okay, I can't tell because of the way it stores data, whether it's working, but that's fine. All right. So theoretically, that'll update <coughs> the code editor attribute. So that seems to work fine. So now we need to figure out Probably let's figure out when it's creating the instance. Push to block type is loaded, create element, yeah. Edit component, okay. Do to check where right plugin files is being used. There, it's in the index. There we go. Edited plugin gets the files and then writes the plugin files there. Okay, so we could do this one of two ways we can either just copy write plugin files and make it write theme files. Um, which may or may not work. Maybe that's a good place to start. And then based on the same file. Bones program P index. I can block okay. Um and then based on the do we have the attributes here? Yeah. Code it, so we should be able to get code into mode here. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Let's go make this change first. Um, so what I'm going to do now. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to say adding. Wait. Very enable. Wait. Adding. Support. Very enable the mode. Editor mode setting. Add a theme setting to editor mode. Probably not the best commit message, but it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> so now I want to get, I can assume I can get coded in some right there.
theoretically. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go. <clears throat> It's going to be like version one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> activate plugin. It's probably going to have to be activate theme. I hope that's even a thing. I could probably check. Maybe I can't just said okay. It's probably Yeah. Transpile the minute light. Oh. There it is. Oh there is an activate theme. There it is. Sweet. Okay. So that is a thing. So we'll need to activate theme. We're gonna export right. <coughs> theme files this will be theme path themes demo theme it's going to have to be a proper theme so it's going to have to have style an index that's fine <clears throat> okay so that makes the path if it doesn't exist it's going to write out those files this is probably for the directory support should all be fine activate theme theme path theoretically that should work okay <clears throat> so now we should be able to import right theme files it's from right theme files okay Good. Okay. And then based on code editor mode, theme right theme files. This is about as old school as you can get, folks. There's probably a better way to do this in like modern JavaScript, but I'm leaving it like that for now. <clears throat> okay, let's see if there's any errors. Currently no errors, so that's good. So my code is at least decent. Whether it works or not is another story. <laughs> um, this I'm not going to worry about because this is the whole code transpiling thing, which don't really have in themes but i'm gonna have to maybe <clears throat> i should maybe move this into the plugin option for now so it doesn't cause any issues so let's do that stick all the plugin code together where's this client created oh there it is Now, that kind of should work, I think. Um, now I need to test it. So, let's go over here. Um, I've got way too many windows open. As always. Close that one down, let's close that one down. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Keep that one up. Okay, so I've got another 
local environment over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use create block theme. To create a very, very basic blank theme. We'll just call it demo theme. I don't need to export it. What I can do, <clears throat> so I can open up that site. Just touch it here. Yeah, so that's going to be, we only need the style CSS, and we only need the index template. The rest is all largely irrelevant. So let's go back to here. Let's refresh this. See if we can still add the playground block. Yep. Okay, I'm going to just move this off to the side here. It's in the model code editor. Let's switch it to theme mode. Okay. So now I'm going to create style.css. I'm going to pop that in there. And I'm going to rename this to what is it? Uh, templates index.html templates it's, it's forward slash actually it's in the code and I just look at it yeah it's forward slash I can never remember and that'll that'll basically um, like replicate a file in a folder in the in the code apparently Never tried it before. Um, so now I should be able to take the index template. And paste that. Music's a little bit loud, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. <clears throat> okay. So I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's see. Okay, there's definitely an error there somewhere. Couldn't activate the theme, not found. Okay, well, that's fine. So it's there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire this up over here. Failed. My theme files couldn't activate. Couldn't activate theme undefined. Theme not provided by the WordPress. Themes undefined. Something went wrong there. Um. Now, why did that go wrong? Because. Interesting. Well, 
Oh, there's a reinstall edited plugin something as well. Okay. <coughs> so let's see what that's about. Shout out to whoever wrote this for actually logging the, the errors to the console. Very cool. Um, so reinstall edited plugin. Uh, okay, it's obviously something that happens. It does a bunch of things. And then writes the plugin files. Okay, so we need... We need a reinstall edited. Hmm. So that's calling it. That's setting it up. That's calling it. Looks like. I wonder if code editor mode is not a thing. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, well, thank you to whoever made sure that happened. Um, PHP storm is driving me up the wall. No, there. There. Okay. Right. That's giving me another error. Oh, I didn't set it to, I didn't set it to theme mode. Dummy. Yeah. Um, try that again. Okay, so the code to mode this theme. specifying that menu. Does it need to be set up somewhere perhaps? 
Hmm. I wonder if it needs to be set up somewhere else. Maybe in the initialization or something. Let's have a look. Doesn't look like it. So the error is happening. Write theme files 29, which is there. I wonder if activate theme requires something else. That is not kidding. Let's have a look at the docs here. Um, Guess is that it's using <coughs> some kind of step. Yeah, activate theme. It just names the theme folder. The name of the theme folder inside. Ah. Plugin. Plugin. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Plugin requires. Plugin path. Whereas activate theme is the name of the theme folder inside WP Content Themes. That's what it is. Okay. So I just need demo theme then, I guess. I have no idea. Why is that killing me? Let's see here. Um, can I go back to that? See, the blueprint steps might not be the same as the function in the code. Type string, the name of the folder. So what if I say const theme slug is demo theme? I pass in the theme slug. That seems to be happy. Now what I could do is I could <coughs> that maybe 
Seems to have bolt okay. Alright, so let's save this and let's refresh it. And let's see what happens. Interesting. Still getting the original. Okay, all right. Well, let's delete this one and let's do a hard reload. And that way, let's save. Let's do a hard reload. This still seems to be happy. And let's add the block. That's so weird. It's like it's not. Let me just see. Should I should console log the theme stuck here? See if that's logging. weird. Where's the theme? So it's there, it's being created. Weird.
think that I'm calling activate theme is incorrect. <coughs> See if it's used anywhere else. I guess. I don't know enough about it to know. And then the theme folder and arguments, which is what I'm doing now. It's interesting. So the theme is there. It's just not activating. And it's reading the style sheet. I can't tell if it's Um, I can't edit the I can't install plugins because is there a plugin to re-enable the file that it's a um, uh, WordPress plugin re-enable theme file editor. Let's see if those files have been created. I don't have access to that. Um, That's not going to work. I'm going to assume I did, I did write the file because the index works, so it does work. So the files are there, it's just not enabling it. So there's something wrong with the way I'm trying to activate this thing. Now, What I don't understand is why it's still trying. Why that's undefined.
This is the point where I stare at the screen. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um... <clears throat> Does it need to be installed first? No. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Stop the dev server. And I'm going to start it up again. In the hopes that it's going to clear something. So let's close all of these down. <clears throat> okay. I don't understand why. Can I activate this? Yeah, I can. And then. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. <clears throat> I don't quite know what I'm doing wrong. So I am going to create this in a draft and I'm going to ask for help because <laughs> I am completely lost. So there's that and there's that. Okay, so let's go get add all. Commit there. Um, adding right new files component. Okay. Okay, I get push version three five one. Okay, and then going to hop on over here <coughs> I'm going to create a draft pull request yes and say work in progress add theme support 
to the code editor. <coughs> okay, let's uh, create a draft pull request. Okay. This is a work in progress. This PR attempts to add theme support to the code editor mode so that users can set up a plugin or theme in the code editor mode. Okay. Why? <laughs> I would like to be able to set up practical activities for learners on learn.wordpress.org around both plugin and theme development using the WordPress playground block that I'm going to leave open for now. Okay, and then <coughs> I'm going to ping my friend Adam. <laughs> Edit this. Three, five, one, I think it is. Do is I'm going to actually link to where I'm doing that. <coughs> no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Mm, okay, I'll have to. But I could link to.
can just stay there. <coughs> and then I'm going to ping Adam in Slack and ask him if he has a moment to take a look. Um, it is at least creating the files, so that's a good thing. It's just the activation that's failing. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but if I get that to work, then I can clean up all the other code. So I have another one of these uh, planned for two weeks time. I think I've already set it up in the calendar. So, um, No, I haven't set it up yet, but I will be running another stream next week, Thursday, the 19th, um, where I will hopefully pick this up and hopefully in the meantime figure out what the problem is and then probably have to do some code cleanup um probably <coughs> not have these two separate components because a lot of it is the same code so maybe change this component so it's write files or something and make it for work for theme or plugins i'll probably have to clean up all of this um but hopefully i can figure out why that's wrong and then fix that and then get it to work uh, and then i'll probably fix up the select box as well because it's a bit clunky at the moment um, i might change this to a toggle or something so it's easier i'll figure that out but i'll i'll, I'll figure that out when i get there uh but that's where i'm going to end it today thank you uh all one of you who's still around i see there's some people who just joined um since i last checked don't know if you guys are hopping in and hopping out but i'm calling it for the day um managed to get it to a point where there's just one bug left um the theme is there the theme is installed i just can't activate it so hopefully adam can share some insights as to why that is the case and then next week or in two weeks time i can i can pick this up um, so thank you for joining me and i'll see you in two weeks bye <laughs>